I was like beating the guys um, when I was playing on the playground and then in middle school I was still um, able to compete with like the guys team and the same in high school and I think that the big part for me was I put my mind that I wanted to do something and I was like I'm not going to let anything not let it happen. The first time I watched it I was just like wow like I want to be able to do these things and I just fell in love with basketball at such a young age like in all of my books from when I was in like kindergarten and stuff like I wrote like I want to be a college basketball player, and that just was everything to me as a kid. And when I was in like elementary school, instead of having like normal chores, like my brother and my sister would have, like do the dishes or whatever. Like my chores were to go outside and do a certain amount of layups on each side or shoot a certain amount of free throws before I could come in. I just lived basketball. I know this is kind of like a weird, stupid thing to struggle with, but I always kind of struggled with being tall in some ways where I just always felt like I was kind of a monster compared to everyone else because I was taller than all the girls. I was taller than most of the boys. Basketball was like height's a good thing and you can just stand under the net and you can raise your hands up and you can catch the ball that nobody else can. And so I really think it was like a good confidence booster for me because I was like, okay, like height's good for something. It's good to play basketball. And that's why I wanted to be a WNBA player when I was eight years old. This is kind of a really sad thing is that I knew the WNBA existed. I couldn't have named a single WNBA player. I couldn't have told you when they played. I never watched a single game. I just knew that existed. The things that I could talk about with that that are wrong. Um, but kind of the main thing that I found is that there's this kind of endless cycle with our media coverage when it comes to female athletes where there's a belief that nobody really likes to watch female sports so then they don't give them like good media coverage slash good time slots to watch the games so when i was like around three i think it was like my third christmas i got my first basketball goal and i have a picture of me like doing a slam dunk with my dad and that was like the first time I started playing basketball. But organized basketball, I started playing when I was four. And then in middle school is when I started to get more serious about basketball. I obviously, like when I was in elementary school, I said I wanted to become a college basketball player. Um, but then when I got into like sixth and seventh grade, I was like, wow, I think I have the potential to become one. And so I started working out with um, my trainer when I was in seventh grade and I worked out with him until I came to college. I would definitely say my trainer is the person that shaped me into the player that I was. The first time I ever worked out with him, I was crying during the workout because it was like the biggest thing with him that he like drilled within me was my mental aspect of the game. And he always said like to become a dog or to have like the eye of the wolf when you're on the court. And I feel like that Mentality is what took me to the next level other than just performance. I feel like anyone can train to become good on the more of like the physical aspect of it. But I think the mental aspect is just as important. And I think that was a big thing that he like instilled in me. And I think that when I started to see myself become good at what I loved, that that pushed me and made me just love it that much more. And I was like, okay, I love this game, like, let's make this game actually my future, actually my life. And I feel like just if you love it, you're gonna make it happen. My thing to tell you, most of all, is to keep on trying. Never give up in your dreams. If you have the dream of being like me, and I'm your role model, then keep on trying.